Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do surgery. So surgery is actually not that hard. And I actually thought for years, surgery was the hardest thing ever. But ever since I started trying to get doctor title, it actually is pretty easy when you actually just learn how to use the tools. So if you're watching this video, you're probably going for doctor title. And I want to give you some tips before I start this video of what you need before getting doctor title. One of my first tips I recommend is before you start doing doctor title, I recommend you get level 10 surgery. Currently I have level nine, but I'm trying to get level 10. And when I get level 10, then I'll actually just start doing surgery every day to get the doctor title. Because if you have level 10, you will get items that are very expensive that you can sell and you will get more world locks back from selling these items. So you basically have less loss from getting doctor title. So I'm trying to get level 10 because at level 10, of course you get all these items and you get a chance to increase to 3% and the 3% is to increase the success chance when using surgery tools. So that's going to be very useful for you when you're doing a lot of surgery so that's number one number two is i recommend getting items that help you do surgery from the gratopia wikipedia you can see all the items that will help you in surgery the items i have is currently i use the stethoscope and i use the nano nurse bot in my opinion, I think these are the best items that you can have while doing surgery. This is why I have these, but the stethoscope is like two BGLs. And if you can't afford it, then you don't need it. The reason I got stethoscope is if you got stethoscope, you do not need to use T. So pretty much you should get a chest item and you should get a hand item and then a consumable. So. If you have the world locks for it, I recommend getting stethoscope, which is two BGLs because it reduces the chance of skill fails by 50%. And if I recommend getting the nano nurse bot because the nano burst is reduces the chance of skill fails by an unknown percentage and grants the chance of not using a surgery tool. So it's the exact same thing as exquisite bone saw, but the difference is you get a surgery tool back. So that's a plus for you. And for the stethoscope, it's expensive. It's two BGLs, but if you can't afford it, you can use a healing tome or a petrorizo. They both do the same thing as you can see. It's way cheaper than, of course, two BGLs. But a lot of people I see are using healing tome. It's like 10 world locks. So I recommend to use a healing tome instead of a petrorizo. So if you have the world locks, get stethoscope, nano nurse, and skill spice. And if you don't have the world locks, get a healing tome, exquisite bone saw, and skill spice and tea. The reason is why if you have the world locks, you don't need tea. So basically, if you have the stethoscope, you do not need to use tea. But if you do not have a stethoscope, then you need to use tea every one minute. So since it is two BGI item, it's really expensive. The reason why I got it is because I do not want to use tea every one minute. It is really annoying. That's why. I bought the stethoscope, I will use it to get doctor title and then I'm going to sell it again because you do not need these items when you already have doctor title. So this is what I'm going to be doing. So in this video, I'll be using my stethoscope, nano nurse and skill spice. Skill spice reduces the chance of skill fails by 50% and it is, f and when you use it, it's for like 30 minutes, which is really useful. So now you guys know what you need before doing doctor title and now i'm going to show you actually how to do surgery so let's say you are new you just started doing surgery you can just use the gertopia wikipedia you use the ultrasound and then use lab kit you will see your problem let's say my problem is broken arm then you use whatever they are saying over here it just tells you everything you need to use and i used to do this for a while until I just learned while using this method, I just learned how to do surgery without needing the Cryptopia Wikipedia. And it's actually so much easier to do. So I'm going to show you guys my method. So I'm going to start surgery. And what I do is I focus on what is not green. So this is my method. Obviously, if you want to save tools, maybe you want to look at another method. But this is my method that works for me every single time. So I do everything that is not green. So... 
pulse is strong it's green temp is green insistence is green so i'm going to explain to you what guys what every tool does so status is awake you will use anesthetic because that's what anesthetic does and now it's unconscious for operation site you use antiseptic so now it's going to be green and now my, it says my patient's losing blood slowly so what i actually didn't tell you guys on before you do anything else you first you focus on this solely on this this has to be the first thing you fix so my patient's losing blood i have to use stitches i'm gonna use stitches until the patient is not losing blood anymore so everything is green and i'm gonna diagnose the patient so you use ultrasound and then it will say what's the problem if it doesn't show it yet to you then you have to use lab kit it sometimes has to use both sometimes you just have to use ultrasound so let's see i used ultrasound and now see i don't have to use lab kit it's just ultrasound so let's see my problem is you scan the patient and broke his leg so let's see my problem is broken and shattered so if you want to fix shattered you have to use scalpel and then you have to use pins this is how you fix shattered and I have two broken bones. To fix broken bones, you have to use splint. So I'm going to use splint two times. And now you have to see, okay, I just finished everything. Now I have to fix what's not green. So status coming to means it's going to wake up. So I'm going to use anesthetic. And now my incisions is one, it's green. So that means I have to have zero incisions to finish the surgery. So I'm going to use stitches. And now I just finished the surgery. I'm gonna do a few surgeries so you guys understand, so it's a bit easier. So, okay, so in this one, I have no green. So the first thing, let's look at the first thing. Patient's fever is climbing rapidly. You will lose lab kit, and then you will use antibiotics because the first thing you will fix is whatever here is first. So now I fixed that, and I have to make everything green again. So first I'm going to use antibiotics to make the temperature down so it's less than 100, so now it's green. Then I'm going to use transfusion to fix the pulse, so it's green. Then I'm going to use anesthetic to make it asleep. Now this, And sometimes, of course, it will show like these mistakes and it says your heart stopped. The only thing you have to do in the situation is the fibrillator. You have to use that, nothing else or the patient will die. So now it's unconscious, the operation site is unsanitary, I use the antiseptic until it's green. And now I'll diagnose the patient. Ultrasound. And the patient suffers from appendicitis. So as you can see right now, everything is green except my incisions. So basically I have to use scalpel until it is green. So I'm going to keep using it. Now it's green. And now it says fix it. So basically you want to keep using scalpel until you see incisions is green and you want to fix it. So now you fix it, but the Gertopia server is a bit bad. So let's wait a bit. So I just got disconnected. So really the Gertopia servers are not the best right now. So as you can see, I just got disconnected. Currently as of filming this video, as you guys know, Gertopia servers are horrible right now. All right, I'm back. The server is up, so let me use Skill Spice again. And of course, I bought one legal briefs, and so mine is 27 more locks, so I can surgery again. But if I get disconnected again, I'm not continuing this video. So let's continue. And I need some anesthetics. Of course, see, it says I have low supply, nine left, and so I'm gonna get more and be right back. All right, let's continue. So let's start as before. The first thing we do is whatever is over here. It says patient's fever is climbing rapidly. So we know it's climbing rapidly. So lab kit to get antibiotics and then we use antibiotics. Then we just make everything green. It's transfusion, anesthetic and antiseptic. So this is all green ultrasound to diagnose patient suffers from kidney failure everything else is green so and incisions is not so we have to do incisions so let's use scalpel until we see this is green now it's green we don't need to do it anymore then we do fix it you always have to use fix it after scalpels and then to close the incision so it's green you have to use stitches 
So now I've just finished the surgery. So let's do a different one. So this is, looks like a hard one. And the first thing, as before, patient's losing blood very quickly. So we use stitches to stop the bleeding. And now we use it until it completely stops bleeding. The fever is slowly rising, so I'm gonna use lab kit in antibiotics to stop that now i'm gonna use transfusion anesthetic and antiseptic so everything else is green now i'm gonna ultrasound to diagnose patient and it says two broken bones two shattered so we use scalpel then we use pins to fix the shattered now we have four broken bones and then we use splint to fix the bones and of course, the heart stopped, so we always use this first. And that whenever the patient wakes up, you want to put it to sleep right away, or it's going to die. So now it's awake, so we're going to put him back to sleep. Now we continue using splint to fix the broken bones. Now, as you can see, we're going to fix that what's not green. Now it's all green. Now the heart stopped again, we use this again. And then we do the incisions. We use it until it's green. And now when it says coming to, that means it's going to wake up when you use your next tool. You want to use anesthetic. Now continue using scalpel until it's green. Now it's green. So you're going to use this again. So it gets his heart revived. Fix it. And then we use... So see, this is like one of those heart surgeries. You keep The heart keeps stopping pretty much. So we use this again antiseptic degree everything green a sponge then we close incisions with stitches so now we finish the surgery and surgery becomes really easy after doing it some time so again patients losing blood you use stitches to stop the bleeding completely so then sometimes you get skill fail when you get skill fail you have to just use it again to feed their the fever is slowly rising, so I'm going to use antibiotics to stop that. Now I'm going to make everything green again. Anesthetic, antiseptic, everything's green. So now this is orange, we want green. And now we're going to diagnose the patient. It says trauma, serious trauma with a punctured lung. So this is a hard surgery. So what you're going to do is you're going to use scalpel. Then we're going to use pins to fix the shattered. Then we're going to use sieves. The heart keeps stopping. We're going to use this again. Now it's also coming too. So we have to use anesthetic to keep him asleep. We're going to use splint to fix the broken bones. Now this is not green again. So I'm going to use this. Splint to fix the broken bones. It's just in. So now we're going to fix incisions until it's green. So scalpel until it's green. Now it's green. Now we use fix it. And then you use sponge again. Because sometimes when this shows up, you really can't do anything else except use sponge. And then we close it. And yeah, I'm going to do a few more. And I hope that this video makes you understand more, more on surgeries. Because this is actually pretty easy and you will learn with time. So the patient's fever is climbing rapidly. Of course, we use lab kit. And then we use antibiotics. You use lab kit to get the antibiotics. And then we use antibiotics until it's, it's lower than 100. So since it was bird flu, usually bird flu is when you have to use just antibiotics. So that's why I didn't have to do anything else. The patient's fever is climbing rapidly, so we use lab kit and antibiotics. It's another, again, a monkey flu. So we just keep using antibiotics until it's under 100. The reason is why you have to... Like, let me show you. The reason is why I have to do whatever is saying here first. Because if you try to do anything else on a monkey flu, your patient will just die. You can't do anything. So I'm going to do everything. Anesthetic to keep it asleep. Antiseptic to fix operation shite. Ultrasound. Now we know it broke his leg, so that's pretty easy. We use scalpel to get pins. Then we use splint to fix broken bones. And then the incision's already green, so we don't have to do anything. So we just use stitches. And yeah, so I'm going to do three more. And that's it, because I think oh, you guys already get like what you have to do. 
So the, the key is just learn how to use every tool and that's pretty much it. The patient's losing blood so we use stitches to close that up. Then I'm going to use transfusion to get the pull screen. Then I'm going to use lab kit to get the temperature down to green. And instead of to make it a sleep operation. So antiseptic to keep this green. Then I'm going to use ultrasound to see what's the problem. It was run over by a truck. So we use scalpel. Then we use pins to fix the shattered. So I have to use it four times. The patient's heart is stopped. So I have to use this. I have to use that every single time the heart stops. As you can see, that is coming too. You use anesthetic because you want to keep it asleep. If it's not asleep, you will get skill fails and the person will die. So we continue to use pins. Then I'm going to use antiseptic to get it green again. Then I'm going to keep using splints to fix the broken bones. And when that is fixed, we, as you can see, coming to again. So I'm going to use anesthetic to keep it asleep. So the, now it's incisions to see if the incisions are green. Use scalpel until it's green. Now it's green. We use fix it. And then we use stitches. As you can see, we don't use stitches yet because this didn't work since it was a skill fail. So I'm going to use it again. Now it's gone. And now I'm going to use stitches to close it up because you always have to use pretty much the fix it button. Patients losing blood, so stitches. And we're going to do everything green again. Lab kit, antibiotics, anesthetic, operation site, so antiseptic. Now everything is green. We're going to diagnose what's the problem. Swallow the world lock. So as you can see, everything else is green. There's no problems, only incisions. So we're going to use scalpel until it's green. Now it's green. We use fix it. And then we use stitches. And when we close it up, as you can see coming to, we want to use anesthetic to keep it asleep. Stitches and boom, done. So last surgery. Let's see what's the problem. So the patient's fever is climbing. This is the first problem. So we're going to use lab kit to get antibiotics to make it less. So now it's green. Now we're going to use transversion for pulse. To... Now it's green again. Anesthetic to put it asleep. Antiseptic. To clean it until it's green now i'm gonna use ultrasound the patient has a liver infection so as you can see everything else is green except the incisions so scalpel until it's green now it's green we use fix it now i'm gonna use antiseptic so everything else is green as you can see coming to i'm gonna use antiseptic to keep it green now i'm gonna use stitches to close up the incisions and that's it so I hope in this video you guys learned how to do surgery. So this is how to do surgery on these things. Obviously, I'm not going to cover all of the surgery possibilities in this video because there are so many surgery ways, but it's pretty much the same method. You just keep using it on surgeries. So it's the same method on surgeries until you get doctor title. And this is pretty much the method that works for me. If you have a different surgery problem that I didn't cover in this video, it's the same method. You try to keep everything green and you want to learn what every tool does. And after you do this a bunch of times, it usually it get it will get really easy and then it won't be hard for you at all. For an example, I'm going to do surgery on a Gertopian to see because the Gertopians have maladies. Trainees do not get maladies at all, only players. So I'm going to show you guys how to do maladies too. So I'm going to go get a player real quick. All right, I got myself a player. I'm going to show you guys how to do it with a player. So you right click and do perform surgery. Every player has some kind of malady usually, but uh, I don't know what it's this guy's. So it's the same thing. Patients losing blood, you use stitches to stop the bleeding. You want everything green, of course, too. So patient's fever, antibiotics to fix that. Then we use transfusion, anesthetic, antiseptic, so everything is green. Then this because the heart stopped, ultrasound, suffered serious trauma with the punctured love. So this is not a malady, it's just the heart surgery. So I'm going to do that real quick. You use pins to fix the shattered. Then I'm going to use splint. And of course it's coming too, so you want to use anesthetic. Can splint to fix the broken bones, then antiseptic to keep it green, 
We use scalpel to make the incisions green, then we use fix it. And then I'm gonna use stitches to close it up. But it's a bit lagging because of Grotopia, but yeah. I'm gonna try to get it. Oh my, I just disconnected. I can't, <laughs> I can't even make a video. I just keep getting disconnected. Oh my God. I don't know if, I, I really don't wanna spend another 27 world locks just to show you guys on a player, but um. Honestly, I think this is gonna be it. This is like, because every day I keep getting disconnected. So just use the same method on all those surgeries and it should work for you. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments. I'll try to help you out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for more videos like this. Shoot the like the video so I know you guys enjoy these types of videos. And yeah, comment down below what you thought of this video. See you guys next time. Goodbye.